Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Game Pass Grab Back, your weekly podcast reviewing games from the Game Pass Collection. Well, except for this week, because this week we're doing a side quest episode. Woohoo! I'm your hardcore gamer host, Andrew. With us, our modern gamer, Keith. Hey, guys. <laughs> and of course, with us, our wonderful, well, my one, our wonderful wife, my wonderful <laughs> wife, Liz the Noob. Hey, guys. And I know that might have shocked you, but no, Keith actually isn't here with us. That was just me. So I know my impersonation of Keith is... Spot is, on. It's, it's great. It's, it's kind of it's sometimes disturbing, isn't it, Liz? But yeah, uh, Keith forgot that you know his brother from Alaska was coming into town, and he was like, "Oh yeah, uh, I was supposed to hang out with family." And it's just like, well, you know, the podcast comes first, man. <laughs> but the good news is, we're actually ahead on playing the games. It's just coordinating, recording, yeah, scheduling conflicts. So I mean, I feel like we can get ahead now. Hopefully, hopefully, because we unfortunately I think we've missed way too many episodes this year. We Sorry, have, guys. We're usually really good at I know, episodes. I know. But that's why I really want to get ahead because we have the holidays coming. I got kind of a busy-ish month coming oh. up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Everyone has a busy-ish month because, you know, it's, there's some great games coming out here. But yeah, oh, yeah, so, there's that too. But Keith's not with us, Liz, and uh, we can talk behind his back now. And kind of yeah, that things. guy, right? Yeah, I know. Let's start off. What's up with his face? <laughs> like, he looks like Kid Rock if you ordered him from Wish.com. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was a joke. That is me. <laughs> Keith really doesn't look like that. You know that. what? I actually really feel bad for Keith because when's the last time that Game Pass put out some new roguelikes? You know what I, I mean? I know. He's, he's, he's been probably writing to every developer out there, like, please, <laughs> please. man. <laughs> They're actually taking some away. Like, Game Pass just lost Hades, which is honestly one of the best roguelikes. Isn't Going Under one as well? And they're getting rid of that? Yeah. But I mean, well, that was a pretty, that was an okay roguelike. But I think he'll take anything he can get at this point. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's obviously revisiting some. And it's just like, okay, Keith. But no. I, I, I'm sorry if that was too mean to Keith. I mean, if anything, I look like Guy Fieri if you ordered me off of Wish.com. <laughs> hey, I'm the governor of Tasty Town. <laughs> you have brown hair. Is it if if I did blonde? ice tips, I think I could look like Guy Fieri. Ooh, maybe this is a Halloween costume idea. And dress I, up, do you know what? You'd have to do it because I, I can't picture it. Dress our toddler up as a chicken nugget or chicken wing. <laughs> I'm the governor of Tasty Town. Yeah, that would be great. I mean, everybody calls little kids chicken nuggets. I think that's just you. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, so instead of not doing an episode, me and Liz were like, eh, let's just kind of record something here. You know, we were just spending an entire episode just talking about bad about Keith. Uh, but no, we figured we'd talk a little bit about some of the games that are coming at the end of this month. You know, what have we been playing? What have we been doing? You know? So uh, as uh, Liz kind of said, you know, this is a kind of a busy month for us. I mean, it's going to be a very busy month for everyone because, well, if you're listening to this episode now, it should be out. But in our previous side quest episode that I did with Keith, I was speaking quite highly of a game coming out called Ship uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker. Hate that name. But I had such a fun time with that game. And yeah, Keith, sure enough, asked me, hey, is it coming to console? And like literally two days after we recorded that episode, it was announced it's coming to console. And it's coming out the 20th of this month. So when you're listening to this episode, it should already be out. But also with that is Deathloop. Uh, Liz, have you actually looked much into it? No, I haven't. Ah. You said I would like it, though. You would, because it's from, you know, the people who brought you... It's from Bethesda, the, you know, the people who brought you Prey and Dishonored. Like the so I would give you, it a go no matter what. You really like them. Yeah. And so it is a fun first-person shooter where you're trying to... You're stuck on this island, and you're trying to assassinate these certain targets. But it also plays like Groundhog's Day, so when you die... Or I think even when you kill one of the targets, it kind of resets and does this loop. But there's also another assassin who's trying to kill you, who's also stuck in this time loop. So it's, it, I've heard great things about this game, so I can't wait to play it. Sounds it sounds fantastic, but I think our real issue is going to be figuring out what to play first. Because there's so many games coming out, and now I'm confused. I feel like every week we also keep changing it as well. I know, and we still have so many listener requests that we need to get through. I do apologize for people who have been, you know, who have requested games. We're not ignoring you. It's just... We've been very busy. <laughs> and it's nice that we are getting so many requests as well. It's we kind of a nice problem to have. It is. So it's just getting through them. And I mean, of course, every once in a while, there's a game that, of course, we want to play as well or that we think that, you know, people should play. But yeah, it's just really, it's really hard. Yep. But I, uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Buckeyes2768. Uh, for Thank you so much for the uh, Apple review. But he recommended that we play Super Lucky Tale. And thank you so much to uh, Landon Strict. Who another also gave us another review on Apple iTunes, and he recommends that we play Power Wash Simulator. 
Uh, which, if you saw my Twitter, Andrew actually went out and bought a power washer. Yep. Which, because we just we just bought a house and it definitely needed it. But I could definitely, when he was mentioning getting one, I'm like, he's he's gonna get one. It's, I knew it. It's so <laughs> weird playing like these simulator games. Like me, and Keith were talking about this last time. You know, it's obviously a video game. It's really not super realistic. But when you play them. I'm like, yeah, I could be a power washer. Or when I'm playing farming sim, I'm like, yeah, you know, I could pick up farming. I could do this for a Is living. Is it as good in real life? Did you have fun power washing? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I think, yeah, I think it's more fun in real life. But the thing that stinks is the cleanup. Because yeah, it sprays everywhere. Yeah, it sprays everywhere. And then not only that, like you actually have to coordinate. You can't just spray willy nilly like you can in the game because you have to deal with the residue of it dripping down. But no, in real life, you actually have to have some coordination when you're actually power washing. But yeah, it's it's still a fun time. See, uh, video games teaching people things, life skills. But they're also lying to us thinking that we could do these things. Yeah. Because also, too, playing House Flipper, I'm like, oh, yeah, I could flip houses. Then I start working on our house, and I'm like, no, this is, this is a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> I just broke something. But yeah, Liz, as you said, this is a busy month. Because, yeah, we got these games, but also, too... You're going on a trip coming up. I am. I yep. um, I have a wedding to go to in Massachusetts. And, and you're ditching me. And I also, I invited you and you said you didn't want to go. <laughs> uh, he was like, I don't want to spend time with you. Go away. That's um, <laughs> actually not that far off. <laughs> and um, my mom has her big 6-0, oh, 60th, ber- 60th birthday. So um, I'm going up for that. So I'm going to be gone for like five days. And I'm not going to be gaming at all then. So, no. And then, then you got a book coming out that you really want to read? I pre-ordered it. I don't know if anybody reads the Thursday Murder Club books, but the third one's coming out. Is it like Twilight? <laughs> no, it's not like Twilight at all. So is it a murder mystery? Yeah. So it, <laughs> I feel so dorky talking about it. You got one minute. Give us a quick review. Or- so these four elderly people in a retirement village in England, they um, they have the Thursday Murder Club. They solve like old cases or they go over old murder cases based on their prior professions. It all works out. They're great at it. But oh, then a murder happens at their time village. Or maybe it's not a murder. You, I'm not giving any spoilers. <laughs> and yeah, so they're <laughs> investigating it. And it's actually, I like the characters. I think it's a hoot. Um, <laughs> And I read all five out of five genres. is a hoot. That's yeah, a review. I read all different genres. So um, this one was just like a nice, easy read, like yeah. a weekend novel. But you also read something else. Uh, I think our listeners would probably be more interested in recently. Watchmen. Yeah. So give us what do you think of the Watchmen? I remember. Yeah, because you never heard of it. I was like, yeah, you should check out the Watchmen. I enjoyed it. But some of those characters were deeply flawed. And the ending really. Well, it's like the whole point of it. <laughs> really angered me. I almost said a bad word. You're not um, a fan of the ending. No, because my favorite character dies, and I feel like there are these oh, awful spoiler. people who do awful things. They don't know who my favorite character is. Oh, I guess it's true. They do all these awful things, and you know, it just oh, grinds my gears. I'm the stereotypical like I want a happy ending. You know, life's already sad. Don't give me sadness in books and video games. You know, so. Um, but I did enjoy it. I haven't watched the movie or the show. I feel like I should do that. I haven't seen the show yet, but I've seen the movie. I enjoyed the movie. The graphic novel you just bought, did you read any of it yet? Not yet. We've been too busy with this podcast. <laughs> I I kind of like doing this podcast is both a blessing and a curse. It is so much fun doing this. We have a lot of fun playing games. I actually I was, I was curious, Liz. All right. So you say you're not a gamer still. We've been doing this for over three years. You still say you're not a gamer? I guess I kind of am because I, I've gotten to the point where I get excited about games coming yeah. out. So I think at that point you are. I just like I'm not a skilled gamer. And I feel like there's I always think of gamers as like really good at gaming. But I don't think that necessarily has to be the case now. No. So I do consider myself one. Um, but I also like I feel like you're the type of gamer that you just love gaming. You'll play literally anything. Yes. And so like. <laughs> <laughs> I played week, some really bad games that have stuck through to the end. Yeah, and there's we we've been calling it the cursed game because uh, uh, when, so yeah. we E3 I had a long list of games that I really wanted to play, games that I wouldn't mind playing. It sounds all right, and then there was just a couple games that I was just like I don't want to watch, I don't want to play that. So like Forza, and then this one, and so he got some friends to play with it. Andrew did, um, and well, you might as well just tell people. The cursed episode Liz is talking about is As Dust Falls. We have literally been trying to record this episode since this game has come out. Yeah, because your friends have played it. Yeah, but you scheduling didn't play conflicts. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you were nice. You, three of your friends played it. 
Nothing ever happened with it. And then you're like, hey, Liz, you know that game you didn't want to play? Yeah, then a listener uh, requested it <laughs> and specifically said all three of us. So I was like, I'm sorry, Liz. Uh, Maybe he listened to the E3 it. and was like, no, she's going to play it. I hate her. <laughs> so you can look forward to that episode coming up very soon. We are doing As Dust Falls. It's going to be... A little review at the beginning, but it is mostly going to be a spoiler cast. So we're going to talk about our choices and what we had and whatnot. So we will obviously give another warning when we do that episode. But it's hard not to talk forward. about it before we record. Because Andrew and I keep bringing up like certain things like, oh, what choice did you do? And then we start like getting into it. And we're like, no, we need to stop. We need to wait for the podcast. Because um, we're both kind of surprised by each other's choices. And, yeah. and like I said earlier, I don't like being sad. I don't like being anxious. And that game is just all of that. It's a sad <laughs> <laughs> so Liz do you think if we quit this podcast right now this is our last episode do you think you'd still play video games do you think you would be like oh, let's check out Game Pass or do you think you'd actually pick something up or you just stick to watching TV and books I think I still would I think I would be more choosy I would look to see what's coming out and, and play but I do think that this actually gets me to do it um, but there's a lot of times where I'm like because I don't really watch a ton of TV I tend to, I'm the type of person that likes to watch the same things over and over again. And so, like, I, for me, I'm not really giving up much. Yeah. So, and in books, I'm trying to cut back, you know? <laughs> You're trying to cut of, back? <laughs> you can see, like, it's like a drug habit or something like that. You're like an alcoholic. Every time I buy a new book, Andrew's like, really? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I you mean, bought I, me a Kindle so it wouldn't take up more space. Yeah, because you have a bookcase and stuff. And I'm like, and we move so much and I'm sick of moving these books. And I'm like, can we please get rid of this? You have like 10 copies of Dracula. No, I have three. <laughs> and because there's always that couple mistakes. in the, the people that are publishing Dracula are doing a terrible job. It's so hard to find a book that doesn't have mistakes in it. And like my eyes just find them every time I read a book and just drive me nuts. I'm like, who proofread this? Like who, who okayed this, you know? Which but, is surprising because you are very unobservant. I am. I am. But when I'm reading, I pick up on, like, if the author says, like, oh, she was in bed. And then the next scene, like, she was like, oh, I was never in bed. I'm like, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Learn to write. <laughs> but, yeah, games, I'm, like, I'm really dumb. <laughs> but and then, uh, what's the other game that we are that we got coming up? Uh, I, I, is oh, this a serious they? question? <laughs> yes. The game you've literally been playing way too much of. I've so. actually, like, cut back a little bit. Yeah. I apologize for our listeners who really have no interest in listening to us talk about Disney Dreamlight Valley, but unfortunately we played that game too much, so it's just like, well, we got to do an episode of this Even now. Even Andrew we gotta loves it. justify our time. Yeah. But uh, I think you, I think our episode of Disney will be interesting, because I'm not a fan of Disney. So, I, know, I got some issues with the game, but... It's, well, also because it, it's not fully out yet, yeah. and there's been some kind of annoying bugs that we've had to deal with that have been fixed and stuff, so we're kind of going through like the annoying process. Yeah. But there's also still some other really good games coming out this month. You just showed me two. No, those are coming out next month. Why did you tease me In like October, because we're going to talk out. about them too. But still okay. coming out in this month for some really big headliners coming out. Uh, Grounded, 1.0 patch. So full released version of Grounded is coming out. And you wanted to do another episode, Oh, right? yeah. Oh, we got to. Because Keith was kind of mad about that game. Yeah. So we got to torture Keith at least. Yeah. But no, I mean, we are, we once again, have had a listener comment on our YouTube channel on uh, on our episode of Grounded that he wants us to revisit the game and it has a 1.0 release. So it's another listener request, so we got to do it. Uh, oh, but then, shucks. Not only that, Slime Rancher 2 is also coming out in a couple days. Oh, a couple days. It actually days. might be out by the time you listen to this episode. Yeah, it's coming out very soon. I think two days from today, which is the 19th. So it's coming out the 21st, I believe. 21st, 22nd. That was a game that... The first one I really liked, and All then of us I got really sick liked. of it. Though. Yeah, and yeah. it kind of there were some things about it that I just started wearing a little thin. Yeah. So I'm excited about that game a lot, and then of course, I mean, next month Plague Tale is coming out. Oh my god, I can't wait for Plague Tale. I, I, that's. We also have to play Marvel at some point. Yep, Marvel's been a list of request. Uh, it's been requested from Javier from Nerd Talk Plus, and now recently it's been requested by uh, Keith Kid. Yeah. Also, looking at like the E3, there are so many games coming out next year that I want to play and that I'm going to be, I'll make different accounts and request it like five times if I have to. <laughs> that I got like a list of, there's that I think 10 games, not including the ones you just showed me, um, they're coming out next month. So I have like a solid list of at least 15 games probably because there's also ones that like we could go back to, like you said, Grounded and 
Um, there, yeah, I, this is the first time that we've been doing this podcast where I'm like, okay, guys, like I have a list of requests. <laughs> <laughs> I know you, that's, it's actually very rare. You're always just like, give me something good. And then I get you something and you're like, this is awful. Why'd you do this? The ones that I your want t- Your taste is very all over the place. It's sometimes it hard is. for me to pick a game for you. Yeah, no, it really is. Like I, and we haven't really done like, um, uh, what do you call it? Like the super long, like the Witcher. RPG. Yeah, yeah, super long ones. I've noticed those are at least your favorite. You really like heavy RPGs. I, it's so hard though because only having a week to yeah. play. And um, but yeah, I, looking at the list of all the things that I want to play, um, with it from here until like through twenty twenty three, they're all different styles, different genres of of games, and so uh, variety is a spice of life. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so a couple. Big games coming out next month that I showed you, Liz, that you looked interested in. Uh, no dates on them. This is one. This is one thing that at least uh, irritates me a little bit with Game Pass. They need to have a better schedule of when things are coming out. Because it's like, come on, Xbox. Like some of us want to request off work here so we can like, <laughs> spend a day playing these games. Not hanging out with your wife. No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> I do that enough. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, but next month, I think a game that you'll really be interested in is, is Coral Island, which. Looks very reminiscent of Stardew. Stardew. Valley. That's a, my first thought. The graphics are very different, and I'm really intrigued by it because I'm like I was looking at it and I'm there's something about the charm of Stardew that I I didn't see in the trailer, but it very much could have that charm. Oh yeah, I'm just not sure yet. But yeah, it looks yeah just like Stardew Valley. It's a farming simulator. You're on this island. You know, you're making a farm. You can romance some of the citizens. You're uncovering the mystery of the island. It looks very reminiscent of it. But can't that, I mean? I'm always down for more farming simulators. Uh, but also too, the other game I showed you was Evil E V I L L E, and essentially it looks like Among Us, but in a medieval setting. And with also a mixture of fantasy. So it looks like you could pick different roles of setting traps or setting down magic. But yeah, it's uh, it looks like Among Us. 12 we people. We never did Among Us for the podcast. No, we didn't. I was into it for a while. You were but beyond into it. You were addicted to it. You know what? The community is just so vile, though. It is. It was, I think that's the main reason why I kind of stopped playing. And also, I was always the imposter. And I just got so sick of it. I, don't, I wish I had games like that had a thing where you could request like not to be it if you're playing with randos and then if like nobody requests it they do it randomly or something i don't know i just i know that sounds stupid but i just i got picked as the imposter like so many times and you actually aren't exaggerating like i actually looked at your stats and you literally were imposter about over 50 percent of the time it's like you're playing with 10 people why i learned to just always vote for you and uh (laughs) unless you're playing with keith how many times did we vote for keith (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no matter what game we played, we always voted Keith off first. <laughs> See, I think that's why he didn't like the so game. Because <laughs> he's always dead. <laughs> uh, but yeah, next month is Spooky Month. And so far, I will say there's not a ton of kind of scary games coming out next month. Is it one leaving Game Pass Outlook? Outlast? Outlast, yeah. Outlast, yeah. Which is odd. Well, I'm really curious, Andrew, are you going to be doing any streaming during the <laughs> spooky month? Because I remember you used to play Dead by Daylight. That is so fun to watch. I'm not that good at it. I'm watching people who are good at it. And I'm like, man, I'm like embarrassing when I play this game. You'll make other people feel good about themselves. That are Like if they're good at the game, they'll be like, oh, well, I'm, I'm a pro. Wow, well, thanks, babe. <laughs> Appreciate that, Liz. But are you going to do some spooky games? I mean, you're, I feel like you're not streaming very much right now. I'm not. I do need to set it back up again. I mean, it's just my work schedule is so all over the place because, you know, we've been requesting stuff off. Because, I mean, like, even now this week was difficult for us to record because I was supposed to have next weekend off because I was supposed to go to Furnace Fest. But that kind of fell through. My brother ditched me. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> uh, <laughs> curious who's going to hear that. But, um, yeah, so like my schedule's messed up this week. It's messed up in a couple of weeks when you're when you're leaving, and then you know we got the holidays coming up. So work schedule's kind of all over the place. But I would like to it's start also shooting too in. because like you will be gaming at night, and so it's like how many listeners? And I mean, you you used to have like a lot of people tuning yeah, in. We have a good amount of international people who listen to us. So. Yeah, so that that might be okay. But yeah, because you sometimes game until like four in the morning. Yeah, but it's hard to get on during the day. Yeah. But I don't know. I need to. I do need to Just figure out a more uh, it, concrete schedule. Do it, especially on our YouTube channel. Grow YouTube more. I think it would be great for YouTube if 
you guys sh- showed you and Keith playing. <laughs> <laughs> like you could see their face comparison kind of you... no like like even like take turns but i feel like it's always nice seeing like the gamer's face when they're playing it that would require keith to get a camera and a computer that works <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying you and keith because i don't want to do it <laughs> <laughs> no you were definitely afraid hey you are on our youtube channel when we played uh uh man of Medan. I think I was a little tipsy, though. Oh, yeah. I think we both I, were. If I'm playing a game by myself, though, like, I am just the walkthrough queen. I am on YouTube. I And do you know what? I'm, I'm going to be honest for anyone t- tuning in to As Does Falls. I couldn't handle the tension. And Liz I cannot handle after. decision making. <laughs> Literally, the it first choice no. was, do you want to walk with your dad or stay with your wife? And Liz is like, ah, I, I what do I do? I didn't know the like, context this, because there the was this animosity. Choice. And I was like, I don't know the backstory. Why are they making me <laughs> choose between the two of them? Can't they just like figure it out and leave me out of it? <laughs> like I, So for me, and I was just like, I knew that a robbery was going to take place. And I'm like, well, what happens if I go with the dad versus if I stay with the wife, does it happen when they're in there? There was, I had a billion questions. And so, and, but I, I won't get into any more because I was just about Save to start talking episode. about the game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. But yeah, so I love walkthroughs. <laughs> so I, I would be a terrible streamer because I feel like people would also be watching and be like, Liz, it's right there. And I'd read the comments and be like, what do you mean it's right there? Like right <laughs> next to the tree. What tree? I don't see a tree. <laughs> It is true. There's so many times we go, Liz, to your left, and you turn right. It's like, ah, Liz, please. (laughs) Well, I think it's like usually I'm trying to shift the camera, but I'm also turning the person, and then so I do go the other direction. It's not just in the game. It's also in real life. life. (laughs) I cannot tell you how many times you have pulled me away from walking in poop. (laughs) A lot. Uh, It's pretty funny. Uh, but there is a couple other spooky games coming out next month. We do have Scorn. I don't know how spooky it is, but it's definitely grotesque. I cannot wait for Scorn because Scorn looks so interesting. It's a lot of very body horror. Your guns are like these living beings or like weird spine looking things. It just looks so weird. It could be an awful game, but I can almost tell, I can almost guarantee I'll still have a blast with it because it's just so unique. I will say it's in my no thanks pile for me three. Yeah. Just for the two fours as the motorsport and hot wheels as does falls scorn and Diablo four. Those are the only ones in my, in my bottom. I don't like gore. I'll play it, but I'm not going to be excited about it. <laughs> but there is another horror game from an indie studio. It's called Signalis and it's kind of a pixelated survival Uh, fixed camera horror game so it looks very reminiscent of like old school resident evil so you have very limited ammo you know there's you're on a spaceship with these infest these weird mutated creatures and you're just trying to survive and it just it looks really interesting i like the art style it doesn't look like it's something super scary so if you're someone who's like doesn't like horror games it at least looks like something that you know it might put you on the edge of your seat but probably not you know scare the pants off you but that's another game you could play for October. Resident Evil. Which one? Oh, well, there's the one after one that we played for the podcast that we haven't played. Yeah, The Village. Yeah, we haven't played that. I know, it's not I Game Pass. I used to love watching the old school ones. I know. I mean, they just remade uh, the old school ones, but they're not like fixed camera like they used to be. Oh, they actually like modernized it. I just unfortunately don't buy a lot of games. I did recently, though. I just recently bought Temtem. I was waiting for this game for so long, and I did not realize that launched at the beginning of this month. It finally came to console, and I bought that up real quick. People who have not heard of Temtem, I do highly recommend it. It is essentially Pokemon, but obviously Pokemon's a Nintendo property, and it's only going to be on Nintendo. So Temtem is the solution for the other consoles. If you've played Pokemon, you've played Temtem. It's very similar. The combat is slightly different. I actually enjoy the combat, I think, a little more in Temtem. It's a lot more unique. You always have two of your creatures out, and your creatures, you know, they don't have a limited number of moves. Your moves, you have a stamina meter instead. So your, your characters do regenerate stamina, and your characters also benefit off of what kind of, like, character is with them. So, you know, you might have a poison Temtem, but it has an ability that if, you know, his partner's a fire Temtem, it does extra damage. So it's like this really cool, interesting play. And it's an MMO. So you can play with your friends. Your friends can join you on your adventure. 
I'm having a ton of fun with it. I think it's it's 50 bucks on Microsoft Store right now. I recommend it. Did you say 50? Yeah. Wowza. I mean, a full price game is usually 60 bucks. So it's slightly less. I know, but you did buy a knockoff. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's from an indie studio. But I will say it's um, named Crema. I don't think they've done any other game. But it is published by Humble Bundle. And Humble Bundle games do have a good tendency to go on Game Pass. So I am hoping that this game will one day come on Game Pass. Because honestly, it's a perfect game for Game Pass. Like I said, it's an MMO. It has a battle pass, so it has microtransactions on it. Uh, the microtransactions don't seem really predatory. It just seems like, hey, you want some costumes for your character or different emotes. I could care less, but they are there. So I think it's a perfect game for Game Pass. So hopefully someday it comes to Game Pass. But as far as I could see, there wasn't any word of it heading there. We should also say, because we mentioned before that there's so many games out um, or that are coming out that we want to play, keep an eye out for some polls because I feel like it's going to be it's going to be hard to to pick yeah so probably ask for your help there's some that were like i said obviously gonna play we already played them and but um but yeah keep an eye out because i mean i feel like we might we might be fighting for a game you know what <laughs> i mean uh but also too for people here who listen to us and don't follow us on twitter or facebook we are quickly coming up to a milestone uh we're coming up to a hundred thousand downloads so we figured wow. we'd actually do another ama uh, ask us anything so if you have any questions you know, you've been burning and wondering to ask us, please send us an email at Game Pass Grab at gmail.com, Facebook at GBGP Pod or Twitter at GBGP Pod. Ask us any questions. We've, There's some uh, hilarious ones that we've been asked so far. I'm we've really got, we've got some uh, little inappropriate ones. We might actually have to make that episode explicit <laughs> <laughs> with, <laughs> there for this one. But uh, yeah, feel free to ask us any questions because that, that milestone's coming up real quick. But yeah, Liz, are you doing anything else? Oh, is there any TV shows you're watching right now that you want to tell people? Andrew got me to start watching The Resort. Yes. And at first, I I was nervous with the way it was going. I got to a scene that I had to turn off the TV because I was so nervous for the characters. <laughs> and um, But I'm a- absolutely loving it. And it's not that long of a show. It just takes me forever. For me, I've caught up on all, all my favorites, like The Righteous Gemstones, and hopefully another season that will come out. Um, I think Rick and Morty's just coming out with yep, some more. new season actually just started. Uh, what other shows? I, I, I like an embarrassing show. We've yes. mentioned it before, so yeah. I guess it doesn't matter, but Below Deck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I highly recommend you? our listeners uh, watch The Resort. It's on Peacock. Uh, I think it's only on the premium version. But I think it's the first season's done. I think it's only eight episodes right now. And they're like 30 minutes each. But I highly recommend it. Once you get to episode four, like when you first watch it, you're kind of like, oh, okay, this is kind of like a weird like comedy murder mystery show, like whatever. As soon as you hit episode four, you're kind of like, okay, this is where things are getting weird and interesting. It, it's, it's very much reminiscent of like old school Lost of like weird things happening and like this weird mystery. It's a lot of fun. So highly recommend you all watch it because I really want more seasons because it's a lot of fun. But yeah, I think we've uh, rambled on enough, Liz. Do you want anything else? Yeah, I think we did too. <laughs> so I think we're going to wrap it up here. We just wanted to do a quick episode because we didn't want to leave you all hanging, you know, and not have another week of nothing. So unfortunately, we gave you this uh, dumpster fire of an episode. Yeah. But at least it was our dumpster fire, Liz. <laughs> So thank you all for joining us. I've been your hardcore gamer host, Andrew. You can find me on Xbox Live at Firebird0952. Liz, where can people find you? I'm Liz Noob Gamer Tag. Come on, I'm Dean. I'm on Twitter at Liz Noob Noob BZW. That's the fastest I can say without stuttering. That was actually pretty impressive. <laughs> I liked it. All right, everyone. Thank you all for joining us. We love you all. We'll have a regular episode next week. Bye, guys. Thank you.